The Duke and the Duchess of Sussex sent shockwaves through the world last year as they announced they were quitting their royal duties. Since their move to California in March, the couple have been reaching huge business deals in a bid to fund their new lifestyle independently from the firm. A new epilogue being added to a re-release of a biography of the couple, published last year, purportedly claims they are thriving after Megshi. An extract of the new chapter of Finding Freedom seen by People magazine reads, What started as a fairy tale romance became a story that reinvented the genre. A self-made, independent woman playing an equal role alongside her knight. Co-author Omid Scobie told the publication, They seem to be existing in a different place, and that place is much healthier. Meghan famously spoke about that it was not enough to survive. We are now in the Thrive chapter. Harry and Meghan are currently on parental leave following the birth of their baby daughter, Lilibet Diana, in June. However, their schedule will likely become busy again soon as reports emerged the Duke will bring a film crew to the UK to film a documentary about the Invictus Games. The couple struck a £100 million deal last year between Netflix and their Archwell Foundation to produce shows. Speaking to Talk Radio on Monday, The Sun's former royal editor Charles Ray criticised the purported plans which he claimed will begin filming in the UK around about November. Mr Ray said, Harry is bringing a film crew, he is coming to Nottingham in round about November, where he is going to film the start of the Invictus Games. Mr Ray claimed, Harry is doing this Invictus Games as a G-up for the games which were cancelled this year because of Covid. The former royal editor added, it's another example of him and his wife breaching their own privacy again.